there are many ways to make your community a safer place. One way is through citizen science. In communities across America, volunteers collect data to better understand their local environment and address issues of concern. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency often collaborates with these citizen scientists who are working to reduce pollution in their neighborhoods. So if someone's interested in becoming a citizen scientist, they need to look around their community and see what's going on. I'm sure within their community or close to their community, there's a watershed association or a not-for-profit organization or a riverkeeper chapter. Um, there are folks out there that are desperate to be working with volunteers that really want to make a difference. And I think that there are plenty of opportunities, no matter what community you live in, um, to volunteer for those organizations. It might be a stream bank restoration, collecting a water quality sample, it might be assisting with spreadsheets. Whatever your skills are, you could utilize at the association. So it might not be something where you have to be out in the environment. You know, you could be helping putting together a mailing list or something. Fighting pollution and taking action on climate change starts at the local level and can become part of a national or even global effort. I do think citizen scientists' data is more easily understood from the community because the citizen scientists are coming from the community and they know what the community is concerned with. Um, often citizen scientists are not in a scientific profession where they're always reading scientific journals or always working on spreadsheets. So I think they look for ways to communicate what they're doing and collecting science to everyday folks that live within their community. If your community has an environmental concern, contact EPA or your state's Department of Health or Environment. <laughs>